Often overlooked in history, the legacy of the U.S. president who held the office for the shortest period, William Henry Harrison, merits closer examination. His presidency only lasted for 32 days in 1841, yet its implications still reverberate within the American political arena. On a chilly day in March of that year, Harrison delivered the longest inaugural address in history, disregarded the adverse weather conditions, and subsequently fell ill with pneumonia, which led to the end of his life and presidency. His demise cast a bright spotlight on the presidential succession clause in the Constitution, prompting profound discussions about power handoff and strengthening the vice presidency's role. From this incident, we learned a significant lesson about presidential health. The health of the nation's leader couldn't be taken lightly. Casualty at such a high level of government sparked fears and shook the country's stability. So, let's explore and revisit the legacy left behind by Harrison's 32-day presidency. Let it serve as a poignant reminder. Sometimes it's not about how long you have power, but what you do with the time you are given.